G'day kids, Ozzy here. Now just before we get stuck into today's episode, if you haven't seen it already, our merchandise is now live on our website, aussieforkids.com, where you can get all of your favorite Aussie items, like the Aussie hat, made especially for kids' heads, or the mini replica Aussie tea. How cool is that? All for our mini Aussie fans. And if you love Aussie that much, you can even get three things in a combo, a hat, a shirt, and a sweatband, all on our website. But one of my favorite items is this one, the Aussie socks, with this little touch here. Stay keen, kids, as always. Available right now on our website, aussieforkids.com. In the meantime, kids, enjoy this episode, and stay keen. Aussie, 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 oi! Aussie is a friend of yours and he's a friend of mine. G'day Aussie. 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 G'day kids, Aussie here. Now who's ready for a magical underwater animal adventure? I'm super keen for this one because we are right here at Sea Life Sydney Aquarium in Sydney Harbour and we're going to go and meet some amazing underwater sea animals. There are over 13,000 spectacular creatures that live right here. We're going to meet some sharks, a dugong called pig, some penguins, some seahorses, some fish and a whole lot more. So come on kids, let's get inside and make some new friends. So it didn't take us very long kids and we've found our very first two sharks. We've got some baby Port Jackson sharks here and check out how cool they are. Guess what their names are? Peanut and Cashew. How cool is that? Now check this out over here. This, those curly things that are hanging up there, they're the eggs. So they're designed like that so that they can sit up in amongst the rocks and they don't fall off. It's amazing. Look kids, found one of my favourite animals, penguins. Do you love penguins too? If you haven't already, make sure you check out Ozzy's other video where we learn all about the Gen 2 and the king penguins that live in really cold temperatures in the snow. But these ones are little blue penguins and they live in warmer temperatures. They're found in Australia and they're also found in a famous Australian location not far from here called Manly, just off the shore near the beach. There's a colony there that you can see over there it's obviously feeding time for the penguins and they're having a good old munch. I reckon they're enjoying some fish. How cool are they? Wow, we've got some beautiful fish here, but check out the size of these massive eels. Look, he's opening his mouth there. There's two in there. They're giant moray eels and their names are Flotsam and Jetsam, but they are enormous. I reckon if you pulled them out and you stretched them out, they'd be over a metre long or a metre tall. It's probably taller than a lot of you kids out there. That's cool, isn't it? Wow, kids, can you see what I'm looking at? You're gonna to have to look closely because they are hard to spot sometimes, but this is the White's Seahorse, or the Sydney Seahorse, but you can see that they're hugging onto the reed or the plants with their tail. That's how they hang on. Now, the, there are males and females in here. Now, a really interesting fact is that the, the females deposit their eggs into the male seahorse's pouch. The daddy seahorse then gives birth to the eggs. It's amazing. Now, White Seahorse, are an endangered species. Now that is because their natural structure is being removed. There's not much of that left. So here at Sea Life Sydney Aquarium, they have an amazing breeding program where the keepers help the seahorses give birth. Then they help the seahorses grow until they're big and strong enough to be released into the wild. Now when they're released into the wild, come and check this out. Now these are called seahorse hotels and they're man-made. Now they get dropped into the water and then within a few months the seaweed and the algae and the corals grow onto those man-made structures 
and then the seahorses go and live on them because it's a perfect place for them to hide from predators and to find food and to live a perfectly healthy life. So that's how the seahorses get from here at Sea Life Sydney Aquarium back into the wild. It's so cool. Freshwater crocs. Check this out kids, this is a common Sydney octopus. This guy's name is Neptune, and look how cool that animal is. A really cool thing about octopus is they have not just one brain, not two or three, they have nine brains. They have one in their head, and one in at the end of each of their tentacles. How many tentacles does an octopus have? Five, eight, eight tentacles. Now. These guys are very, very clever. They can change the color and the texture of their skin to camouflage or blend in with their surroundings so that protects them from any of their enemies out there. They are incredible, incredible creatures. Now the way they feed them here at Sea Life Sydney Aquarium is they put their food into bottles and drop them in the water. So Neptune has to use its tentacles and its nine brains to figure out how to get its food out of the bottle, which is like a bit of a reward at the end of the day. Pretty cool, hey? See you, Neptune. Now this is cool. This is the marine nursery or the White's Seahorse breeding area. Let's go and take a closer look inside. They have said we can come in. So let's go and check it out. Now look at these little baby seahorses. Aren't they cute? They are so awesome. You think they're cute? Check these ones out. Can you spot them? They are absolutely tiny. These ones were only born about three weeks ago. So those ones over there are about six to seven months old. These ones only a few weeks old. Now. All of these babies came from the one dad. Now I mentioned it before, and I wasn't telling you a trick, it's the males or the daddies that give birth to the baby seahorses. Now when he gives birth, he doesn't give birth to one or two, or three or four, it's literally between 100 to 250 baby seahorses at a time, and they come out fully formed, just like that, and then they'll grow from there. And this is part of the breeding program, so they'll stay in here, until they're big enough and healthy enough, until they can survive on their own with the help of those man-made artificial seahorse hotels that I mentioned before. They can go and live on those in and around Sydney. How cool is that? Now I can't stop looking at these baby seahorses, kids. They are so, so cute. But do you know what they're called when they're a baby? A baby seahorse is called a fry. F-R-Y. Like French fry, but without French. A fry, pretty cool. So kids, this is where the dugong lives and the dugong's name is Pig. And that's because he's like a cow, he's like a sea cow. And Pig can eat up to 30 kilograms of lettuce in one day. That's a lot of lettuce, isn't it? Now Pig can grow up to three meters long and he can weigh approximately 400 kilograms. That is a big pig. Well, it's a dugong. Now check these guys out. Can you see them down there? We've got some eagle rays and the cool thing about them is not only are they massive, but if you check out their back, 
They've got a unique dot pattern on their back. Just like a fingerprint on a human, it's unique to them. Now look at this kids, we are standing underwater. There are three different types of sharks in here. We have Grey Nurse, Port Jackson, and the Wobbegong. And check out these guys right here, they're just having a cuddle on the glass. And you can see their nose and their mouth. It's so cool to be underwater with them. But I'm not even getting wet. And there's all sorts of different fish in here. Look at the size of these sharks. Look kids, look, look, look. Oh, he's gonna come straight over us. Look at these teeth. Now that is amazing. Having a shark swim straight over your head, that's a grey nurse shark, and those teeth look super sharp, but they're actually not really dangerous to humans. Not like the great white sharks. These guys don't attack humans, you just let them do their thing and swim around in the ocean. Now kids, that's another grey nurse shark, and that's a female. You can see the males have a different, couple of little appendages coming off their fins here. So that's a female, that could be Mary Lou, or it could be one of the other ones. There's Trio, there's Murdoch, there's Striker, and there's Napoleon. And here's a couple more here. Hello, little fella. That's a Wobbegong, kids. That's a Wobbegong shark. And isn't it cool looking? I like the look of him. So cool. My goodness me, that is enormous. Can you see this up close, kids? This is a smooth ray. And look at the size of it. That can grow up to 4.3 meters long. It can grow up to two meters wide, and it can weigh up to 350 kilos. That is a big ray. Look at it, it's bigger than the sharks. Just amazing how the big smooth ray just glides through the water. And what's even more amazing is how close you can get here at Sea Life Sydney Aquarium. We're literally standing underneath a smooth ray and a grey nurse shark. How cool is this? Now 
Now this is a really cool area. This is the Discovery Kids Rock Pool and it's where you get to get up close and personal and touch a few things. You have gotta do it very carefully, but see this thing here? Remember I showed you earlier in the video, this is a Port Jackson shark egg. There's no sharks inside, of course. The sharks have been born, they're swimming around somewhere, but this is what it looks like. It's quite hard, but it's very spir spirally, and that's what helps it hang on to the side of rocks and stuff. Now come and check these guys out here. These are called sea urchins. Now if you touch them too hard, you're gonna hurt them. Also, you're probably gonna hurt yourself. So if you just put your finger in there gently, they give you a little finger cuddle. It's really cool. They're very friendly. What about this one over here? You want a finger cuddle? Yeah, you do. I knew you did. <laughs> That's super fun. There's all sorts of anemones. These things here. All anemones, they're all alive. All the things on the rocks. Oh, and check this one out. This is a really cool one. This is a feather duster sea worm. And watch what he does when you touch him. Bye-bye. That's his way of protecting himself. We've also got some sea stars or starfish. There's a really nice red and pink colored one there. We've got a gray and black one over here. Now you don't want, you can touch them, but you don't want to pick them up because they breathe from underneath their feet. So if you pick them up, then they can't breathe. So we want to make sure we look after them and keep them where they are. And then also a really interesting fact with sea stars or starfish is that they spit out their stomach so that they can eat. It's pretty disgusting and weird, but that's what they do. They're very, very clever. And here comes Plugger, the green sea turtle. Isn't she massive and isn't she beautiful? There's just so many beautiful sea animals here at Sea Life Sydney Aquarium. I want to say a massive thank you to the team for letting us walk through today. Kids, if you're in Sydney, make sure you come and check this place out. You will be amazed and you'll love it just like I have today. I hope you've enjoyed the tour with me on our video today. Hopefully we'll see you on our next video. Until then, stay keen. I'm gonna sit back over here and say hi to some of my new friends. Hey kids, did you have lots of fun today watching Aussie? I hope so. Did you know that we've got a heap of Aussie episodes on our YouTube channel? If you haven't already, go back and have a scroll through. I reckon you'll find some others that you absolutely love. And while you're there, why don't you hit subscribe? That way you won't miss out on any of our new videos that we bring out. We'll see you again soon, kids. Until then, stay keen. Oh, and by the way, did you happen to find the hidden Aussie icon in that video? Yeah, make sure you look closely because they're in every single video. That's right. Stay keen, kids. Aussie, 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 oi. Aussie is a friend of yours and he's a friend.